Hello everyone, thank you for watching a Generation Gap Reacts video. We are listening to another Meat Love song. Two Yay. out of three ain't bad. Fantastic. I'm excited. Every single Meat Loaf song has been new to me, but has been amazing. I might have heard I won't do, I would do anything for love, but not the whole song, but the first one, um, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, and this one I am not familiar with at all. Okay. I'm not sure either. Yeah. So I'm excited because I love Meat Loaf. He's incredible. He's amazing. That makes two of us. I mean, I just remember him as kind of the, you know, funny eccentric guy from, oh gosh, what's that show? The Apprentice. Celebrity Apprentice. I just remember him from that. And I remember thinking um, as a teenager, I think I was a teenager, thinking Meatloaf, what a weird name. <laughs> Who is that guy? That's what I remember thinking. I was thinking at the time... I never paid a whole lot of attention to him, but I thought he was very nice. Oh, he was incredibly nice. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah. As he a was, human he being, was as a person. the underdog in that, in that yeah, show. But, but very smart. Anyways, let's get started. Okay. okay. All right. Nothing left inside of me And maybe you can cry all night But that'll never change the way that I feel The snow is really piling up outside I wish you wouldn't make me leave here I poured it what the title of the song meant. Two out of three ain't bad. And now I get it. He wants you, he needs, needs you, you, but he doesn't love, love you. you. So two out of three ain't bad. But I think the love part is the most important part. Yes, I don't think I, 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 I would like that. You well, know, basically he just wants you for one thing. <laughs> no, I don't think that, but um, but it's no wonder that she's asking him to leave because, you know, she wants the love factor and he's yeah. just not able to give the love part in the relationship. But the thing that about Meatloaf that I've noticed is 
His songs are so clever. It's a story. So I know that this there's going to be a follow-up. He he doesn't have well, he has repeating choruses, but the the verses continue. It's it's like a full circle kind of story, especially with Paradise by the Dashboard Light. You know, there were so many different sections of that song and it, it came full circle, right? There was a beginning, middle, and end. Actually, I think it was like a four-part song. There was two middles, kind of. And so his his songs are just so clever that they like you, that. They're story songs. And it makes you really think yeah. that he's, he's singing so passionately. I don't think he's telling the truth. I think he loves her, but he doesn't want to love her. He wants her, he needs her, he says he doesn't love her, but his passion tells me something different. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Let's, we'll see. Let's, let's figure it out when we listen to the rest of the song. All right. Okay, I get it now. See, I love it. I knew it. I was going to come full circle. That's where that passion, because it sounded, it's like I didn't believe him. He sounded so passionate. He has to be in love with her, but no. He, he was wasn't in love with someone, someone else. else. That's where all the passion comes from. And he's kind of repeating what she had done that he's doing to this other woman. Yeah, so I think it's going to be like this vicious cycle because maybe the woman he loved didn't love him back because she was in love with a man previously who was in love with her and then it just bleh and circle and goes around and vicious cycle and on and on and on. So very clever song. It was a very slow ballad of a song kind of different from the other meatloaf songs that we heard, especially the first one that was so full of energy and was just so upbeat and so much fun and kind of funny. It was definitely a funny song. And then this one was like a tragic love song, unrequited love. And 
he'll never love anybody except the woman he was in love with who couldn't love him back. So it's just this vicious cycle and on and on and on and on. And oh my gosh, I just love Meatloaf so much. And he has an incredible voice. I can tell when people say that, you know, he started on Broadway. I can totally hear that. He's just not your stereotypical looking rock star. I still think he's cute. <laughs> great. Well, that's great. I love the passion in his face. He gets very emotional. Um, and then you, you, you just kind of feel sad for him mm -hmm. because he he's a great performer he, yes he really puts out what he's singing just remarkable how well he performs and is singing oh it's so incredible it's a beautiful sad love song yeah <laughs> yes he's very convincing in his performance and he's very good at acting out what he's singing excellent he's excellent because not it. every singer can do that yeah you know i've 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 seen play i won't name any names but i've seen singers who i've i've seen perform a song and it's an emotional song or it's a tragic song or it's a beautiful love song and i just don't feel that energy that emotion. That emotion. Yeah, that goes they, with the song. They're singing the song, and they sound incredible, but inside, they're not connecting with the song. It, and I think that it, that yeah. comes through. And then it comes through in Meatloaf's case, where he is performing that song. He sounds so believable. Mm -hmm. It's his whole... It's not just the passion in his voice, which is incredible, but it's his facial expression, his body language his eyes closing yeah, it's very and true really getting into it you just i just want to go and hug him <laughs> i just want to hug him we love meatloaf it's okay if you want me but don't really love me <laughs> no i take that back i'd want someone to feel all all those emotions all three yes i want all three two out of three ain't bad but three is the best. Well, you want him to want you. Mm -hmm. You, what was this? <laughs> need you. Oh, you want him to need you and you want him to love you. I mean, that's what the world is all about. That's the greatest gift in the world is to love and to be loved. Yeah. So I don't know if I could, I mean, you may as well just have a friend. Well, I, I think that's what's so sad and tragic about the song is that he's just incapable of that because he's heartbroken. Well, I just want to say to him in a gentle way, you got to let her go. Well, he, he was, she was, she was letting him go. He, he was saying in one part of the song that, you know, he, she left him out in the cold and now he's crying icicles instead of tears. And his, the lyrics are very, um, are very colorful too. Like you want a ruby in a sand or rocks. Or yeah, something. in a pile of rocks, and there's no Coupe de Ville in the bottom of a Cracker Jack box. I mean, how clever are those lyrics? Very clever. So very colorful. Definitely paints a picture. He's very entertaining. So I love him. I mean, thank you to the very first person who said, "Hey, you got to do a meatloaf song." And we did Paradise by the Dashboard Light. And then I think that kind of started this, uh, what do you call it? This trend for us to do some more meatloaf and discover his his music. Well, we're on a meatloaf journey. G meatloaf journey, that's right. So thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to our channel. Are there any other meatloaf songs we have to listen to? I Out of so. Hell is our next one. So... Um, yeah, we'll be doing that, but if there are any others, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.